Here we are, Reaction Therapy Plus. Tom Stevens, your resident psychotherapist. I have got Nick Stevens here with me. He's usually behind the scenes. Today he's in front. You know why? Because I don't know what we're about to see. Drake has supposedly put out a diss track to a bunch of people. Kendrick Lamar, Future, Metro, Boomin. We are gonna check out this video. You are gonna yes. help us tell what's going on, but Nick is gonna be my advisor today. I don't know if I can catch anything, but I love to see a good diss. Hey man, we're we're here, we're gonna both hear this. Got any mental um, health? Probably not. I have heard snippets of it, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm gonna try to help Tom with some of the things he might un not understand. So, you ready for this? Yeah. Okay, let's do it without further ado. Let's go, Drake. Drop and give me fifty is the name drop of the Drop and give me fifty. I ain't even doing that. I some, can't even drop and give you five. Some people have different titles, but um, drop and give me on. fifty. So that wasn't in a reference to Fifty Cent, was it? Well, could be, but uh, let's just listen to it. Let's do it. Let's see what's up. All right, so already, Man. already that first bar, um, he said, he said, I can never be your number one fan. Nobody's your, number your one fan. But then he said, your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. Man. So I actually do know who he's talking about here. He handed that to somebody. So he's talking about Future, I believe, here. Wow. Um, talking to, because Future's been on Features with Drake, and those songs have gone number one, but Future... Uh, can't get a number one song by himself, um, which I think is what he's saying there. And obviously, with the whole, this whole beef going on, Drake is against Future and Metro Boomin. They're kind of because Kendrick was on that first song on the Future Metro Boomin album, so he does. He's not a big fan of Future and Metro Boomin. What do these people have against each other? Like, do they have a real fight, or do they just compete because they all want to be number one? I don't know. Like they could, like to put each other be, down. It's like a good old fashioned family Thanksgiving, <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, I don't he know. could never be anybody's number one fan. Like when you're on top, I guess he figures he's on top. Mm -hmm. I don't need to be anybody's number one fan. They need to be my fan. <laughs> I don't. I'm not sure if after this reaction, if any of them are going to be our number one fan. Got it. Drake. Right, let's keep it. H Town. Up. That's our boy. I lives know. in our city. Hit us up, Drake. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Out America for now. I'm out in Tokyo because I'm big in Japan. Mm. I'm the hit maker, y'all depend on. Backstage. Oh, what are they getting booked outside America for Nan? I don't know what that means. I missed that completely. What, what is, Can you is, please go back? I gotta hear that. Hey, I could never be nobody number one fan. Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. You pussies can't get booked outside America for Nan. I'm out. They can't. They can't get booked outside America. Like that, this is all you got. You're yep. gonna see the Tom reaction, the Nick reaction. It's all you got. You got America. <laughs> Y'all can't be sent overseas. You ain't got enough popularity for that. Mm. He's out in Tokyo. That's what he's talking about. Yeah. Because he got Japan. Like these people who are these artists on the top, they go worldwide. Mm -hmm. In Tokyo, because I'm big in Japan. I'm the hit maker, y'all depend on. Backstage in my city, it was friend zone. Ah. You won't never take no chain off of us. How the fuck you be stepping with a size seven man zone? Woo. This the part with the bite. Somebody got a small <laughs> shoe. Unless that's oh a my gosh. penis size. I don't know. A, a what? <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. So. So that that's reference I think Kendrick because Kendrick's small. He's like five three or something. Ah very short. Size and seven. What was the lyric? What does it say? How the F you big stepping with a size seven men's on. He's gotta yeah, be talking so, shit. So how how are you like talking how are you talking all this talk when you got a small foot, basically? Yeah. You got a small on. thing. That, that ain't <laughs> I can change these lyrics right now. Man, dirty Tom coming how out you today. F, how how the F you big stepping with a size seven men oh. No, <laughs> I think he's talking about shoe, but yeah, I okay. know. I'm just spicing it up. Go. Right. <laughs> I'm out in Tokyo because I'm big in Japan. I'm the hit maker, y'all depend on. Backstage in my city, it was friend zone. You won't never take no chain off of us. How nope. the fuck you be stepping with a size seven man zone? This the part with the bite, nigga. What's up? I know my mm. pitch. 
with you on the wall when y'all cook up. Extortion, baby, hope for red, you been shook up. Cause top told you drop it, give me 50 likes of push ups. Cool, your last one brick. I don't know who top give is. 50, give me 50 likes and push ups. So I don't know. I don't know exactly. I think. Um, told you to drop and give me 50. What is 50? What well, does that 50, mean? 50 push ups, but he could also be, be meeting 50, like 50%. I don't know if some record mm. labels like take fifty percent of. I don't know. I'm could be reading into that, but interesting. Um, yeah. Who's top? No idea. Because it says top told you drop. I don't. I don't know that. Sorry. <laughs> y'all let us. Y'all let us know because I have no idea. But uh, yeah, I think that that line might have been having to do something with like how a percentage or something. But I don't know. I know my picture on the wall when y'all cook up. Yeah. Extortion, baby, hope you red, you been shook up. Cause top told you drop it, give me 50 likes of push ups. Cool, your last one brick, you really not on shit. Ah. They make excuses for you cause they hate to see me lit. Oh. Pull your contract cause we gotta see the split. The way you doing splits, bitch, your pants might rip. Ah. See? Talking about a split, I think he's talking about how Money. much he gets compared Money. to. Money. And Drake's like, hey man, I get everything. Yep. So. But then, like your like your pants might. Yeah, rip pull your split. contract out. Let's yeah. look at the real facts, not what mm -hmm. you say, but let's look at what's actually on paper. Facts. The way you're doing splits, your pants might rip, man. <laughs> yeah. God. And how about that piece there where he said they make excuses for you because they hate to see me let like they're mm -hmm. so jealous of me they're gonna make excuses for you. Man, going at him. Hey, by the way, who is I, still? Who is this still? Future? A lot of this is Kendrick. Okay, this a is lot Kendrick. Of the, the first part. How was do about you future, go after but... Kendrick? Like he's like literally one of the well, top what top of all time. Well, right? the whole thing is Kendrick diss Drake and J Cole, and this is Drake. Like J Cole gave a weak response, right? But Drake's coming out. He's like, I'm taking you down. Like I'm not. I'm not backing down from okay. anything. So I think he's going at it. By the way, part of this, this is actually a leak. So this might not even be really Drake. I've heard rumors. This is AI. This is fake. Uh, to or me. So far, this sounds real. Like I know AI it does is great to me too. and like really good, but this sounds real so far. Um, Man. I think we're gonna know with like the different like ad libs that yeah. happen. It's gonna might might sound fake, but I think a lot of this is real. I don't know if AI can come up with this, but I don't know. Mm. Or th some of most of this sounds. But he's like talking about pulling right contracts. Right. I wonder if they actually would pull contracts. Like, here's what I got, man. You wanna you wanna try to call me on that? Mm. I don't know. Let's keep going. We're only a minute in. It's four minutes. Contract, <laughs> cause we gotta see the split. The way you doing splits, bitch, your pants might rip. You better do that motherfucking show inside the bitty. Maroon oh. Five need a verse, you better make it witty. <laughs> then we need a verse for the Swifties. Top Woo! say drop, you better drop and give them fifty. Ah, ah, is, I'm sorry. Ah. So this is one that I understand it. And I you do probably not don't understand, understand it. But so I see talking. Maroon Five, I see Swifties. So he's, the Swifties. Okay, but you know why he's saying no. Maroon Five and the Swifties? Mm -mm. Because Kendrick's had a verse on their songs. Has before. he really? And I've I've heard that he's actually written like some songs for those artists. And so he's like Maroon basically saying five? he's basically saying like yeah, go write for them. Dude, like oh man, I gotta go. I gotta can't, go back and I hear that. I can't believe. I loved how he did for the Swifties. Yeah, you know Bad <laughs> Bad Blood Taylor Swift song. Yeah, yeah. There's a version where he is okay. raps on that song. I know that, um, but and I'm assuming oh. with Maroon Five. Yeah, I've never heard a Maroon Five Kendrick, but I'm assuming since he put that in with Taylor Swift, that man, he's going something. at him here. This is hardcore. All right, let's keep going. Gotta see the split. The way you doing splits, bitch, your pants might rip. You better do that motherfucking show inside the bitty. Maroon 5 need a verse, you better make it witty. Then we need a verse for the Swifties. Top <laughs> say drop, you better drop and give them 50. Yep, Pips, yep, pipe down. Yep. You ain't in no big three. Scissor got you wiped down. Travis got you wiped down. Savage got you wiped down. Like your label, boy, you in a scope right now. And you gon' fit. Oh my god. I don't even bro. know what it was, Are but it sounded me? good. So, okay. Here um, goes the big three. He it's said, just big me. He said, you ain't in no big three. So he, then then he goes, SZA got you wiped. Travis got you wiped. Sa 21 Savage got you wiped. He's just naming all these people who are better than better than Kendrick. He's like, these these three are above you. which And Drake's above them all, he which says. I, I get like, <laughs> no offense to those three, but I think Kendrick's better. But I understand what he's yeah. trying to say. And then he says, like your label boy, you in the scope right now. So basically, like in the scope, like you're you're about to get hit. 
but Interscope. He's also Interscope? Interscope. Okay. He's Interscope. I, don't I didn't know, know that. I think maybe, I don't, I didn't think he was an Interscope, but maybe that's who distributes, who distributes You're in the scope, music. like I'm going to take you right here? Well, the problem <laughs> is with Kendrick, I'm going to drop a bar on Kendrick. The reason we don't know that is because he doesn't drop any music, so how are we supposed to know what label he's under? Can't even hear anything from him. Put something out, Kendrick. But, uh, well, I mean, because this last thing he put out was on Metro Boomin's album, so it's not his label, it's there. Yeah. But, um. Man, and then the next one, the next bar, I just man, how I about that? You ain't in no big three. You ain't in no. What are you saying, Big B? You ain't in, even in the three. It's people way up above you, and they ain't That's even that crazy. much. That that is wild. I mean, okay. I don't, I don't agree, but you here know. we go. Pip squeak pipe down. You ain't in no big three. Scissor got you wiped down. Travis got you wiped down. Savage got you wiped down. Like your label boy, you in a scope right now, and you gon' feel the aftermath of what I write down. I'm at the top of. Aftermath, Shady Aftermath, Eminem, talking about Eminem. I don't know that one. Well, well Shady Aftermath and Interscope okay. Aftermath. So he's just talking about Eminem, but not dissing Eminem, but just, I don't know exactly what with that, but I, it's got to be Shady. Interscope right now, and you going to feel the aftermath of what I write down. I'm at the top of the mountain, so you tight now. Just to add his talk with your ass, I had to hike down. Big different swing, Mike did. Oh my gosh, bro. Did you hear that? This at all. No, but did you hear no this is something you, you I did can not get, hear it. Because he said, I'm at the top of the mountain. Yeah. And for me to talk with you, I had to hike down the mountain to come talk to you because you're all the way down there. Uh, like oh, I had to hike all the way I down. See it. That's now wild. I see it. That is I'm too wild. into the beat here, man. The beat's is this fire. beat good or what? If this is the AI, this is the best AI song this I've is ever heard. Really like, good. <laughs> I'm at the top of the mountain, so you tight now. Just to have to just talk with you, I have to. I'm gonna hike, hike down, bro. Like I'm, I'm way up here. I'm gonna have to, like, not just walk down a little bit. I'm gonna have to hike all the way down because you're wow. all the way at the wow. bottom. Wow, wow, you're having the beat in your head right now, dude. I, this is a good beat. Yeah. And you gonna feel the aftermath of what I write down. I'm at the top of the mountain, so you tight now. Just to add this talk with your ass, I had to hike down. Big difference between Mike then and Mike now. What the fuck is this a 20 v one nigga? What's a prince to a king? He a son, nigga. Get more love in a city that. Oh my gosh, did you what? <laughs> What's a prince to a king? Who's the prince and who's did the you king? Did you not? So, in his in the diss, and Kendrick's diss, he said Prince outlived Mike Jack. Oh yes, that? that's right. And so he's saying that Michael Jackson is the king. So he said, "What's a son yep. to a what's a son to a pr wait what what did it say?" But Prince is was the ultimate because Prince outlived him and also was no. But what is a very what different is, character? What, is, what are the lyrics? Said, what's say? a prince to a king? He has son. Yeah, what's a prince? Like to a, a prince king? is the son of a king. Yeah, that's the way and it so works. He, but, but Kendrick said um, that he was he was Prince, like Kendrick's Prince, and he outlives Michael Jackson. But Drake is calling Michael Jackson the king, which mm -hmm. makes Kendrick his son. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy that, how we spun it. That's a pretty that good way. tie together of that uh, yeah. Prince and Mike Jack. Yeah, that was pretty good because I liked it in that disc with Kendrick, mm -hmm. and then he comes in and is like, "What's a prince to a king? Like you're the prince, son. I'm a king. He's a son, <laughs> boy. He's a son. Yikes! All right, <laughs> Let's keep going." I'm at the top of the mountain, so you tight now. Just to add this talk with your ass, I had to yeah, hike yeah. down. Big difference come on, Mike, come on, Mike now. come on. What the fuck is this, a 20v1, nigga? What's a prince to a king? He a son, nigga. Get more love in a city that you fun, nigga. Yeah. Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. There it yeah, is. I'm a six guy. I'm a Metro like, he's trying to shut him up. Like, just go back and make your beats, bro. Like, that's <laughs> go down, go in the back room and play with your little buttons. Just, yeah, just please. twiddle your fingers and play with yourself. That's and what you can do, Metro. Just with all of this, like, I like Metro Boomin, but I mean, that's that's wild. I'm just so. saying what Drake's saying, not what I'm saying. Yeah. It's not how I feel because I don't know y'all. We're gonna give our opinions at the end, but but I think Drake is like he's saying, boy, just go play with yourself and your little toys over there in the back because <laughs> you ain't you don't even need to be here. Why right are now. you making this like so? Like I don't know. Sexual. I don't know. <laughs> Something's wrong with me tonight. <laughs> What's a prince to a king? He a son, nigga. Get more love in a city that you find, nigga. Yep. Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. Yeah, I'm the six guy. I'm the front runner. Y'all nigga manager was Charles little blunt runner. Clean a six and you boys ain't even come from it. And when you boys got rich, you had to run from it. Cash blowing, able bread out here tricking. How you tricking? Shit we do for bitches, he doing for niggas. Jets, whips, chains, wicked, wicked, wicked. So, first of all, I know... <laughs> 
Abel, I think I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure Abel is the weekend. The weekend is um am I am I right? It's the main guy on the weekend is named Abel. I'm pretty sure. And so I think he might be calling out the weekend here. But uh I'm not super well versed with the weekend. But I'm pretty sure Abel is like the guy for the weekend. So that's so cash flow and Abel Brad on your drinking. Wiki, wiki, wiki. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that that's a, the weekend, but it could be wrong. You boys got rich, you had to run from it. Yep. Cash blowing, able bread out here tricking. tricking. Shit we do for bitches, he doing for niggas. Jets, whips, chains, wiki, wiki, wiki. Spinning like you trying to fuck, boy, you tripping, boy, you tripping. Drizzy chipping there, probably got your bitch in there. I just got them done, boy, don't make me at the chipping there. Rolling loud stage, I would turn, that was slick as hell. Shit'll probably change if it be him, start to kiss and tell. Hugs and kisses, man, don't tell me about no switches. I'll be rocking be, yeah. the fucking chain I own next busy, ayy. I'll be with some bodyguards like Whitney. Top say, drop your little midget ass, better fucking, ayy. I'm still back at rolling loud. Like, what happened to rolling loud? He's saying they, they did good. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not and, sure about and that. And rolling loud, like that's a big stage. So they were, um, they were turned because I think <laughs> Suicide Boys are out there rolling loud. <laughs> they I'm were turned. Sure. It says y'all were turned. That was sick, Wait, slickest. Was rolling loud? I think Kendrick was the main. I think I he don't was know. the main main one at rolling loud. Is that what he's saying? Because the next bar is about Kendrick too. So it says rolling be. loud stage. Y'all were turned. That was slick as hell. <laughs> Stuff probably will probably change, change if your BM start to kiss and tell. What's mm. BM? Baby mama. Mm. Mm. That is that Kendrick then. Because the next line, if you read it, it's talking about Whitney. Whitney is I missed Kendrick's, all that. Whitney's Kendrick's wife, but we'll listen to it again. Ah. So he's talking about Kendrick. I was then, stuck then on then Rolling says, Loud. Like, who was he talking about? Was he talking about I'm pretty Future, sure, Metro Boomin', Kendrick? Pretty sure it's Kendrick. And um, because I think Kendrick was the main, like the lead at rolling loud or not the lead but the for the main okay. act i guess slick as hell should have probably changed if it be him wait hold on let's go back a little bit jets whips chains wiki 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 spinning like you trying to fuck boy you tripping boy you tripping drizzy chipping there probably got your bitch in there i just got them done boy don't make me at the chipping there huh. rolling loud stage i would turn that was slick as hell should have probably changed if it be him start to kiss and tell mm. hugs and kisses man don't tell me about no switches i'll be rocking every fucking chain i own next busy hey I be with some bodyguards like Whitney. Top safe, drag a little midget ass. Better fucking, hey, better drop and give me. Called him a midget. <laughs> Dude, him a midget. so that's Whitney Houston from The Bodyguard with Kevin Costner. Yeah, but I also. I know a little song. But also, but also back to my day. Kendrick's wife is also named Whitney. Is it really? Yeah. So, so he matched both, both of those yeah. because Whitney Houston was in The Bodyguard with Kevin Costner. Mm -hmm. I'd be with some bodyguards like Whitney. Yeah, mm -hmm. but he also Kendrick because Whitney kind of had a thing with him, I think, in that movie. What? Okay, maybe I, I know he's talking about Whitney for that, but also Kendrick's. Which one was it? Was it one. both? Did I he think mean both? both? I'm pretty sure it's both. I just who know. is top? I don't know. He keeps mentioning top. I don't know. Top I, stay drop. It's not Twenty One Pilots. Your little midget <laughs> better. Probably gonna have to back to drop stupid. and give me 50, man. Yeah. You know, when you say drop and give me 50, you're the sergeant, man. You're telling people, troops, what to do. Mm -hmm. Like, if you screw up, I'm going to tell you to drop and give me 50. Yeah. I'm going to get your butt in shape. And that's <laughs> what he's telling them every over and over again. Okay. Okay. Shit'll probably change if it be him, start to kiss and tell. Hugs and kisses, man, don't tell me about no switches. I'll be rocking every fucking chain I own next busy, ayy. I'll be with some bodyguards like Whitney. Top say, drop your little midget ass, better fucking, ayy. Rick Ross. Rick that's Rick Ross. If they said Ricky, I'm assuming that's Rick Ross. Man. Talking like I'm 50. I think Rick Ross is approaching 50 years old, maybe. Is he's, he? he's older, so. And then he said, Got I might take her girl and cover like a Ricky. <laughs> Golly. I don't know the story behind Rick Ross, but I'm assuming. What did he do? I'm assuming that this is Rick Ross, but y'all let me know. Just because in the title of this is Rick Ross, isn't it? Every song he made it on the chart he got from Drizzy. Who's Drizzy? It's Drake. Drake. Sorry. You gotta know that. <laughs> Just kidding. Drizzy Drake. They call him Drizzy Drake. They also call him the Six God. Gotcha. He's from Toronto, which okay. is the Six. Yeah. Gotcha. I'm and learning. All that. Okay. Niggas really got me out here rapping what I'm living. I 
might take it late, this girl a cuffle like on Wiki Can't believe he jumping in, this nigga turning 50 Every song that made it on the chart, he got from Drizzy Spend that little check, you gotta stay up out my business, nigga shot Also, one of the songs together they have is Money in the Grave, which is a great song But anyway, I'm gonna digress Hey, this girl a cuffle like on Wiki Can't believe he jumping in, this nigga turning 50 Every song that made it on the chart, he got from Drizzy Spend that little check, you gotta stay up out my business, nigga yep. Shout out to the Hooper that be busting out the gritty we know why you mad, nigga. I ain't even tripping. All that little heartbroken Twitter shit for bitches. This for all the top dogs dropping. Give me 50 drop, drop. All the top dogs, and bro. And that y'all got to not start the beef with us. Who this is that? Been brewing in a pot now, I'm heating up. I don't care what cold think that dot shit was weak as fuck. Champagne tripping, he is not fucking easing up. There's so much right there. We gotta break Dude. it down. We're breaking it down here, okay? Can't keep up. So first of all. For all the top dogs, he's like, everybody who thinks they're on top, drop and give me 50. Like, you're not on top like I am. What, what were you going to say? Basically everybody? Yeah, he's going on everybody. He's like, everybody, everybody who thinks they're up there. Uh -uh. Does top represent anything else other than people I don't on know. top? I have no idea. Um, but what what did did you did you see something you were going to say? For all the top dogs, drop and give me 50. Nope. Uh -huh. The J. Cole part is, I don't care what Cole thinks. That was that was trash, Kendrick. Like your your diss was trash, basically. Like Cole might have not. Yeah, I can't believe you mentioned J Cole too. But he's he's basically so saying that Lee dot, Cole. Is what like, is that dot? Well, stuff. K, K dot. They call him Kendrick K dot. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the the diss you did to Kendrick that yeah. was that was weak. Well, the diss Kendrick did. To, yeah. He's talking about Kendrick, I think. Oh no no no, no no no. They're talking about never mind J Cole. They're talking about J. Cole. That, that That's dog. what I thought. Yeah, yeah you're right. You're right. You're right. I, me I messed up. I screwed up there. I mean, he's saying, I don't <laughs> care what Cole thinks. Yeah. He might have thought it was great, but was I weak. thought it was weak. Yeah. Trying to go at Kendrick like that. Because he didn't mean to. They're friends. I mean, okay. So Jake, he's not like calling I J. think Cole all these out, people but... are friends. I think they're all just playing with each other. Kendrick J. Cole album confirmed? <laughs> I think so. We'll see. Son, y'all got to not start the beef with us. This shit being brewing in a pot now, I'm heating up. <laughs> I don't care what Cole think that dot shit was weak as fuck. Champagne tripping, yep. he is not yep. fucking easing up. Nigga calling top to see if top wanna piece it up. Top wanna piece it up. Top wanna piece it up. Nah, pussy, now you on your own when you speaking up. You don't roll deep to this, is not fucking deep enough. Begging cops or not, boy, you not fucking beating us. Oh. Numbers wise, I'm out of here, you not fucking creeping up. Money wise, I'm out of here, you not fucking <laughs> sneaking up. Corn by your show money merch money feed us Woo! i'ma let you niggas work it out because i've seen enough this ain't even everything i know don't wait the demon up oh okay so going back he said begging <sighs> kaisa not you're not beating us so kaisa not is one of the top streamers on twitch right now mm -hmm. aiden ross another streamer who's on yeah. kick so basically what what major artists do when they drop an album they immediately either go to one of their streams, streamers they go to the streamer so they can get like free yeah. publicity. Okay. So he's just talking about Kaisa not like you're begging Kaisa so not to get him to so get on get your, some attention. Yeah. So that's what he's saying there. But then he said, uh, "Cornball, your show money merch, your show money merch money free to us." I'm not sure exactly. What that I means. love how it's like numbers wise, I'm out of here. You're not even creeping up. Money wise, I'm out of here. Mm -hmm. You're not sneaking up. Cornball, you show money merch yeah. money free fee to us. I'm gonna let you work it out because I've seen enough. It's like I'm out of here. Oh, and then this ain't even everything I know. Don't wake a demon Don't wake up. A demon this up. ain't even everything I got. I got more. If you want more, you're gonna wake the demon. I'm gonna bring it. Satan come alive. Man, the more I hear this as this goes, the more I think this is real. Like I don't feel like this is AI. Bro. I don't know. Y'all let us know what Real to me. you not fucking sneaking up. Corn by your show money, merch money feed us. I'ma let you niggas work it out because yeah. I've seen enough. Y'all do this it. Ain't even everything I'm out of here. Don't wait the demon up. No. This ain't even everything I know. Don't wait the demon up. Right. Drop and give me 50. All you fuck niggas teaming up. Ah. Yeah. We'll switch yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. Drop a 50 bag for the mob in a spot. Drop a 50 bag. 29 for the thought. Uh, I was really, really trying to keep it PG. I feel like there's that. Why would it end like that? You know, sometimes they just end on the spot, man. It's over. He's out. He dropped the mic and he's done. So basically, the y'all teaming up on me. I'll come at all of y'all. I don't care, is what he's saying. Yeah, the PG line has something to do with Kendrick again. 
there's some I forget what Kendrick's label was called, but it was something to do with PG. But y'all let me know about that too. I've just I don't know that. what top is. <laughs> well, <laughs> you yeah, mentioned I mean, top. Okay, well, let's, let's just chill out it. because top can mean a lot of different things. But don't <laughs> just, I don't know what it means. I don't know. Anyway, it's Twenty One Pilots. I know that. Yeah, it is it's true. Anyway, let us know what you think. This is a long reaction. Oh my gosh! No kidding. But, Thanks, Nick. Appreciate you being here. Yeah. So on reaction therapy, maybe, maybe you can. So do you think it was AI or do you think that's real? Like, I thought it, sounds, it was real. It sounds real to me, but I don't know the voice as well enough. Yeah, I loved it. I thought it was great. I don't know why any other reactor would would not like it. This this to me was way more real yeah. than any of the J Cole stuff. He to me, Drake just went at it and said, "Look, I'm gonna give you what I got." And I don't know how Kendrick responds. I, I mean, he'll definitely come back with the response. I think to this. And to me, but, it was fair. Like I didn't see anything that was like. Um, yeah. Like really low, like really mean. Mm-mm. He just kept talking about how short he was. Basically. You know, kind of like um, <laughs> with the MGK and Eminem when he was talking about Eminem's daughter, like yeah. where it gets a little low, like just don't go there. I, I thought this was fair. I thought it was good. And look, yeah. I'm not into disses anyway. I'll know that. But this, I liked hearing this. About, yeah. it, I learned something. Yeah. Hey, the beat was fire too. Loved it. Hard beat. Anyway, y'all let us know what you thought. It's not real therapy. Just Tom and Nick breaking down lyrics. And Leave us your also, comments. Let, it, let us know if you want us to do more together. Mental health matters. See you on the next, next Reaction, Reaction Therapy. therapy.